Hello, good night, dear professor. I am Andre Alarcón, a student from the course. And here I show you my I. Okay, I'm going to describe a good, I believe, a good journal is related with in person versus online learning in relation to students' perception of maturing during COVID. 19. This is a brief report. Okay. In the abstract, uh, based on these researches, they have done um, a student examination of the perception of maturing during the pandemic in relation to in person versus online learning in a sample of 6,578 Canadian students in grades from 4 to 12 years old. Okay. Uh, they found uh, the elementary school students who attend school in person report mastering the most, followed by secondary school students who learn part time in person, and the rest of the time online, the blended learning group. The students who felt that they mastered the least were those who learned online full time during the pandemic, elementary and secondary students. Okay, um, what else? These results were not driven by selection effect for school choice during the pandemic. Their experimental uh, design showed that student perception of mastering did not differ by student learning modality when they were asked to reflect on their experiences before the pandemic, even though some were also learning online full time at the time they respond to our questions. There were no gender difference. The difference were found. Um, what else? Uh, results were similar in that most association between maturing and positive school climate uh, they found in both experimental conditions. The result of this brief study showed that in person learning seems to help from the students that they matter. This is important to know because the students who felt like they matter are more protected resilience and engaged. Accordingly, matching is a key educational indicator that ought to be considered when contemplating the merit of the modern learning. Okay, before uh, before I continue with this explanation, I consider that it's really important to clarify the definition of what maturing is. Maturing defines the tendency to view ourselves as significant to others. We have received increasing research attention because of the central role in overall mental uh, being. Specifically, individuals who feel as if they matter to other tend to experience better mental health and psychological well-being than those who feel that they do not matter or matter less to others. Matter is important across the lifespan, but it's particularly important to older children and adults. Another thing that I believe that is really important. Uh, this is a key aspect of healthy school climate. E mattering matters a lot to think. To think. Okay, so I'm going to continue describing the importance. Okay, I'm going to continue with the introduction. I have explained the abstract. Well, basically the introduction is what I, I have told you that is related with matter in court. Okay, what the, the opinion of the children and the adolescents about math. So it's really important. It is arising from social processes. What are the implications of teaching children and adolescents online during the pandemic? Okay, I'm going to describe basically this introduction. This is a brief report. This has to answer this question in a large sample, as I told you before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They predict that the students who were taught online during the first term of 2020 will feel that they matter less than students who were taught in person. Mattering is often really student instructed, but important in interpersonal ways, such as a part of the bank, smile from the teacher or friend, or informal discussion in the hallway. 
So the physical content is really important in this case. But what happened in online, what happened in person, but what happened in the online uh, teaching method for driving the same. There are fewer opportunities to demonstrate to others that they matter because online classes tend to elicit fewer patients for spontaneous chat informal for changing and evaluating and evaluation sorry of suiting all verbal behavior and the like. Mm -hmm. So in this study, they have examined whether learning modality in person versus online impacts the student perception of mastery. They, uh, they explore the moderating role of the representatives with the board perceived that the matter led to other than going. Okay. Um, okay, let's, let's go to the method, okay? The participant. The participant basically was they randomized to uh, choose a student at the level of the school into two conditions. Okay? In the pandemic condition, students were asked to reflect on their current experiences from the start of September 2020 until November 2020. In the pandemic condition, pre-pandemic condition, students were asked to consider their retrospective experiences from September 2019 to March 2020 before the COVID-19 was declared a global pandemic. Uh, in this study, they were mostly interested in pandemic condition, yeah, but compared matching levels to the pre-academic pandemic condition. When examining whether matching was influenced by a learning modality selection effect. In this case, uh, a total of 2,283 students, 44.8% girls, 50% boys, and 2.6 gender divers, in grade from 4 to 12, participate in the pandemic condition in which they respond to the current situation during the pandemic. Uh, this is related with the, the racial group they were identified mostly, okay? Mm. Okay, studying the condition were constrained to three learning modalities. The first one, learning in person full time from grade from four to eight. The number is about well, 1,362. The second uh, method is more virtual e learning. So I went to school from home from grade to four, from four to 12. The number 15 in grade four, from four to eight and in number from 137 in grade nine from nine to 12. And third, the third group, the secondary blended learning, that is, is to say that when I went to school for some classes and took other classes here. The grade from, was from nine to 12 in number 1,190. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, in the comparison group, the pandemic condition in which students responded to the situation before the pandemic, 3,895, that is to say, the 49.3% girls and 44.8 boys and 2.1 gender diverse died. Okay. This is student completed survey. The students in this condition were also clustered into three learning streams. The first one, learning in person full time. You may see the quantity here. The second group was the virtual learning. You may see here, you may see here the, the quantity. And the third was the secondary blend learning from going okay. There were more students in the pre-pandemic condition because randomization or sanction, randomization, sorry, occurred at the school level and not a school was the same size for Modena. You can see more detail in here. Okay. The procedure, it was with the parent consent, the student asked what required. Most parents or the, or the eligible students consent to have the child participate in this research, okay? Okay, so the classroom teacher provides school on device to learn the high student as a special bag. The student will inform the right participant, which include a rented or anonymity and the right to skip any question in the search. Okay, what about the measure? Uh, it was about the, the mattering. Okay, here I see the 
information is the same. Okay. The result, the analysis plan. So basically, they investigate the third modality of learning, person versus other, versus plan of perception of matter, use of factorial and know. Okay, there is explanation. Okay. Uh, the main first was the higher order work instead of prediction the model with perception of matter independent by that. Okay. What about the result? Okay. Basically, the results and uh, the factor that I will do for elementary students and secondary students within each of the condition using principal lattice factor. Okay. It is all the process. Okay. In the pandemic condition, the results show different between groups. You may see the table. However, in the pandemic conditions, okay, elementary and first student over report higher maturing to all other groups. Secondary blended learning students report higher maturing than secondary online school. There were no difference between elementary and secondary students who were full time on. Okay. And here we have the uh, discussion. In basically, it's how the COVID has affected the study process for the students teaching learning process. Okay. Um, basically, in here is the conclusion. Now we have online digital schooling affects elementary and secondary students. It's important because online learning is likely to be retain some capacity effects after the pandemic. It's important to consider the impact of COVID-19 mitigation study on not only the time experience of students, but also on their social emotional experience. Okay. So, in other words, there needs to be significant is that is to matter is central to a post-pandemic recovery. Okay. So basically that and finally we have here the reference that are according to the APA notes. Okay. Basically I, I consider that the article is really extent, but it's really important. And I have found it. I know it's, it's kind of of hard to, to get the whole information, understand and explain it, but I try my best. Okay, I hope it's right. Thank you very much. Bye bye. See you, Professor.